is a bomb in Gilead. If you want to read along with me, it's 423. This song makes me feel calm now. I need that today. <laughs>
uh, first Sunday of the new year. And uh, anyway, we, we starting it off right, being here in the Lord's house. A uh, couple of things uh, I thought we would do, uh, seeing this is the very first Sunday of the new year. Uh, do you know, how many of you, first of all, how many of you believe the existence of the Holy Spirit? Amen. That there is a Holy Spirit. Yes. A person. Um, I believe that we need His power uh, to do anything. Amen. Uh, I, I wrote a little thing here, and I want to do something uh, that I usually don't do, but I want to do it today just because it's starting the year out right. Uh, it is my belief that we can do nothing without the help of the person and power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are, as a church, we are all about Jesus. Amen. But without the power of the Holy Ghost, our words and our work is of little or no effect. So I said, why don't we take a moment today and do something a little different and ask or invite the person of the Holy Spirit to help us this new year. Um, Jesus uh, told his disciples, I must go away. And when I go away, I'll send the comforter to you. And uh, we really need to, uh, I think, begin to recognize the power uh, that uh, he gives us as a a church, uh, an individual, uh, the help and comfort that he gives us. And I pray all the time. I always pray. My prayers I always pray in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Is the way I finish them. Uh, however, we need God. We need the, the, the person and the power of the Holy uh, Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a person. Co-equal. With God, the father yes. and Jesus, the son. That's why we believe in what is called the Trinity. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Yes. So as a church family, I think most of you, we're all in agreement that uh, we are a church that's all about Jesus. Amen. But we also need the person and the power and the presence of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I thought we'd take a moment of prayer. Uh, Scott, uh, you're our professor. I'm going to ask you to stand and pray for the Lord to allow that to be who we are uh, as a church family, that we will recognize that when we come together, the Holy Spirit, we want the, we want the Holy Spirit to work among us. So would you do that for us, please, sir? Father, I want to thank you for this time that we Amen. We thank you that apart from you, we can do nothing. Yes, oh God. But you said that through you, we can do all things. Amen. Amen. Help us to keep that in mind. Yes. That we are nothing, and apart from you, we can do nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And Father, we want to open our lives to your spirit. Mm Mm-hmm. Amen. You would lead us and guide us yes. in the way we should go. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord, give us ears to hear, eyes to see, and yes. a heart to be obedient. Yes. Amen. God. And Lord, that we would recognize your presence in our life. Amen. Yes. And that Lord, we do nothing without seeking you as you conform us to the image of Christ. Yes, O oh Lord. That your very life would flow through us. Yes, O oh God. And that your love and joy and yes. peace yes. and patience and kindness yes. and meekness yes, and oh self-control Lord. would be the fruit of our life. Amen, yes, amen, God. amen. And that, Lord, that we do nothing without insulting you or think that we have power to do anything apart from you. Amen, Lord. And Lord, as we submit ourselves to you, that in our will to you, the 
you'll strengthen us and you'll provide for us and you yes. will take us places that we do not expect that you would great and mighty things Amen. that you will do God. through us because we allow you to live your life Amen. Us. Amen. Yes, oh Lord. So Lord, we pray that you would help us to submit ourselves and our wills and our lives to you yes. that you may be honored that you may be glorified yes. and Holy Spirit we know that you do nothing but exalt Jesus. Amen. Yes, oh God. And we we want to say, Lord, do that in me. Amen. Do that in each one of us here. Yes, Father. That we may honor you and glorify you with our lives. Yes. Amen. And we ask all these things in your precious name that you may be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Scott. <clears throat> Open your Bibles with me to the book of Philippians today. The book of Philippians chapter 3. The title of the message I've uh, written today is Look Out 2021, Here We Come. Look Out 2021, Here We Come. Uh, there's a little song that we sing sometimes. It's a Sunday school song. used to teach it to the children. But we still sing it. It says, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. And uh, we sing, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And on and on, the joy of the Lord uh, is what we want to be able to have and experience throughout uh, each and every year. But we really want to look forward to it this year. We came out of a tough year, but we're going to look forward now. Um, <clears throat> Philippians chapter 3, uh, before I read one more thought. We are looking forward, not hanging on to our past. Yes. I mean, we've got better things ahead. Amen. Um, Philippians chapter 3, beginning in verse 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. We're looking forward to the blessed hope. Yes. It was Nehemiah who said, the joy of the Lord is your strength. The Apostle Paul said, rejoice evermore. Yes. Nothing makes a devil any matter than when you, God's people, are full of joy and rejoicing Amen. and praising the name that's above all names. <clears throat> you, no matter what comes your way, you are not going to give up. You are going to resist Satan and his temptations. Amen. You are going to put on the whole armor of God. That's who you are. That's what you do. And every day we admonish you to take a moment when you wake up and begin to wake up in the morning to just take time to talk to the Lord and put on the whole armor of God. You are going to use your shield of faith to deflect all the fiery darts of the wicked. You are, I heard this a few years ago, you are a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner sort of person. That's who you are. You are a winner. <laughs> victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Praise the Lord. You, as God's people, you have learned some real secrets to enjoying the journey. And we are on our journey now. The world does not know uh, about those secrets. But God reveals them to us as we go along the way. Paul said in these, in these scriptures, in, in Philippians uh, chapter 3, Paul said, I am not going to look at my past. I'm not going to let my past hold me back. 
little Sunday school song that we also used to teach was gone, 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 gone. Yes, my sins are gone. We used to say G-O-N-E, gone. Uh, David said, as far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Uh, you are not going to let old, sin, old sins, old friends, or old habits hold you back in 2021. 2020, 2020 is in the history books. And while Satan was able to deceive the world, we know that God never changes. Amen. God is bigger and more powerful than any plague or virus. Amen. That he is able not only to meet our needs, but he is able to do abundantly and above beyond what we can either ask or think. Amen. It, it, Paul said that my God shall supply part of your needs. According to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. And to me, that's pretty good news. Amen. During this pandemic, we have the gospel, which is good news. Amen. David told us in Psalm 46 that God is our refuge and strength. Yes. A very present help in our time of need or trouble. The Lord of hosts, the Lord of hosts is with us. He is our captain. We are in his hands and he is holding on to us. Uh, years ago, I remember talking to a guy. Uh, uh, he was um, a good man. And uh, I remember asking him if he was going to go to heaven. And he said, if I can just hold on. He was about 90 years old. And I said, well, don't worry. If you can't hold on, Jesus can. Amen. The Lord is the almighty King of kings. We will sing praises unto him. Even today, we sing praises unto him. Amen. And do you know, listen to this, the scriptures tell us, listen to this, we sing praises unto him. We sing praises unto him. We do it every Sunday. We come together. We sing praises unto him. Did you know that the Lord inhabits the praises of his people? Yes. The Bible tells us that God inhabits the praises of his people. He is our Lord. He is our master. He is our savior. He reigns over heaven and earth. Amen. Don't be so concerned about all the politics that's going on in the world today. Right. And my, oh my, they, the, the Congress really went whole hog when they passed out those $600 stimulus Amen. checks, didn't they? Wow, it might pay part of your rent, might pay your car payment. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, you know, I, I, I just, I couldn't believe it. Amen. We serve the almighty God, Jehovah. Amen. And I like, you know, like Elijah. Remember Elijah had a contest with the prophets of Baal? I would today challenge anybody that worshiped some strange God against our God. Amen. Our God is the true and living God. And besides our God, there is no God. Amen. He is on your side. Somebody said, I, is, is, are we on his side or is he on our side? I don't know how it works. But either way, he's on, I know we're together. He's on our side. We're serving him. He will be our God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. He will be our guide both now and throughout eternity. He will lead us through the valley of the shadow of death. The Lord. God has good plans for you. Yes. Um, I had a friend I went to school with, uh, seminary with. I remember uh, he used to talk about uh, the idea that he was looking for the upper taker, not the undertaker. Amen. And today we're looking for the upper taker. Keep your eyes and keep your focus on the promises of God. Amen. He will never fail you. Right. And Jesus is the one who said, Jesus is the one who said, not one jot or one tittle 
shall pass until all shall be fulfilled. Your life, your life as a Christian, your life has been built on a solid foundation. And I would say to you, yes, the storms will come. Even against those uh, of you who know the Lord, for many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. And so, yes, the storms will come. And yes, the storms may cause damage, but you, with God's help, can always rebuild even better than it was before. If the time comes, you go through a storm, and sometimes people feel very weak. And they fought the storms of life, and they feel very weak. God can still get your life rebuilt. Simply stated, sometimes we have not because we ask not. Amen. For this is the gospel. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. In this pandemic world, we are to be anxious for nothing. For God will supply all your needs according to his riches. He said that he would take from the wicked and give to the righteous. Amen. Even if things are not going your way right now, the best is yet to come. I mean, we got something to look forward to, guys, gals. Right. We, have a, uh, we have a great God, a living God, and God uh, will not withhold anything from those who walk uprightly. Praise Paul God. said, Paul wrote these words, Your eyes have not seen, nor have your ears heard, the things that God has prepared for those who love him and for those who are looking for his appearing. It is our prayer as your pastor and as your friend that we this year will have more people saved than any year in the past. Amen. That our church will be filled with brand new folks. Yes. God sent them. God sent them. That's right. We'll do our part to go call and plant seeds, but God uh, gives the increase. That's right. Amen. I'm going to pray this year and I'm going to ask uh, the Lord to give us what we prayed for, Holy Ghost power when we preach or teach or sing or minister the gospel in any way, or when we're out knocking on doors, talking to people, yeah. although we know right now it's kind of difficult, but when we start again, and we will start again, that the Holy Ghost will be with us as we go door to door talking to people about the Lord. Hey. It is my prayer this year as your pastor that we will have more people baptized than in any year past. Amen. I'm going to pray, and I want you to pray with us, that more people will join our church, that God will send us some good Christian people Amen. who believe like we do and want to see a church that's still preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to pray that our children's Sunday school program will begin to fill up once again. I was telling, um, I see, who was I talking to? I was talking to David. Uh, I, I told him, I said, there were times that we had as many as 50 and 60 kids at our house having a swimming party and a picnic out in the backyard. Yes, uh, and that's, that can happen again. Amen. We will go. We will reach. We will work. Somebody said, pray uh, like it all depends on God and work like it all depends on you. That's right. So we're not going to quit. We're not going to give in. We're going to pray that God will, that the parents will not be afraid of this virus. Um, we're going to pray that the tithes and offerings of the church will continue to grow, at least maintain where we are so that we can continue to support all of those, every letter that you see up there, every page that you see up there, this church supports those ministries. And I don't know how we've been able to do it through this pandemic year, but God, somewhat miraculous way, has helped us to be able to do that. And I not only want to maintain, but I'd like to grow in that area. Um, I am going to pray for you as individuals. I'm going to pray that God will put a hedge about you, take care of you, take care of your children for you. 
And he can do that. For there is nothing too hard for the Lord to do. Let us claim victory. Even now. In, for 2021. Let us have faith that God can help us. And God will help us. That we'll see people saved and baptized as in days gone by. Let's pray that our families, our individual families, I imagine every family in here has a few heartaches going on in your life. But let's pray that our families can be healed and that our church is not just going to survive, but it will thrive as we go through this new year. Let us remain faithful. It is counted of a steward that a man should be found faithful. Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Revelation 3, 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come unto him and will sup with him and he with me. Revelation 22. Behold. I come quickly, and my reward is with me. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end of all things. Yes. Blessed are they that obey him. Blessed are they that hear his word. Right. And here we are today, 2021. Last year, there were six of us that started out Six more that were with us last year. And the Lord took six of our folks this last year. Yes. And I miss every one of them. Amen. And I pray that God puts a hedge about us and lets us work and serve him until we hear the trumpet sound. Amen. God is good yes. all the time. Amen. And he's going to bless us this year. Yes. And it's my belief that he is. He said he would, and I'm going to believe his word that he will bless us. Right. And thank God for each and every one of you. And I want to say thank you to those of you who are listening by way of YouTube. Thank you for your continued prayers and your financial support as we continue to do this work for our Lord. He is worth everything. He is worth our time, our talent, our everything, and even our sacrifices he's worth. Would you bow with us, please, as we ask the Lord to help us this year? Holy Spirit of God, we ask you to help us as we do this work. Sometimes we feel like we may have ignored you. We didn't mean to. But you are co-equal with God the Father and God the Son. And you're here for a specific purpose. And we want to say we need you. Please help us this year. Help us to reach beyond what we've been able to do through the years past. Help us to look forward. Help us to look upward and know that you're with us at all times. You said, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. And I pray, Lord, that we would just be aware of that. And thank you. And we thank you for sending your spirit. And now, Lord, we ask for a Holy Spirit power to work among your people. If there's a lost man or woman, young person, would you touch their heart today? Bring them to yourself, for without you we can do nothing. Lord, if there's a prodigal who needs to come back home, one that's hearing us right now, I pray that they would head home even now. Turn them around, Lord. They've been in the hog pen long enough. Let them go home. Then, Father, if there's anyone here today who needs a church home, a church family, we ask you, Lord, to lay it upon their heart to come and unite with us as we do this great work. Lord, starting 35 years this month, and of course we don't know how many more years we have left, but we want to be faithful for as long as we possibly can. May your will be done in every heart and every life. And it's in your name, the name that is above all other names, Jesus, that we pray these things. Amen. Stand with us, please.
Uh, turn to number 373. take a moment here and tell you that Brother Ron and Marie Gauntz told me before church they wanted to be a member. So I'm inviting them to come and just stand right here and I want you guys to come by and shake hands and welcome them into the fellowship here at Messiah Baptist Church. I know it takes a lot of faith on your part to be a part of a church like this, So, but we're very thankful that you're here. And we, 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 feel, like, we feel like the Lord is doing something special here. And uh, it really, it's an honor that you would make such a decision. All right? Praise All right, turn around. Brother and Mrs. Gauntz have uh, joined our church today, and all God's people said? Amen. Amen. All right, let's be dismissed in a word of prayer. Russ, I'm going to ask you to dismiss us.